Hey everybody, today we're going to be implementing Enhanced Conversions, the Google Ads implementation of it, inside Google Tag Manager, and we'll also be using the data layer to do this. So the first step is we'll go over to Google Ads. Okay, here's the main page of Google Ads, the overview section. Then we'll go to Tools and Conversions. Oh, sorry, Tools and Settings. Once you're in tools and settings, you'll see measurement, go to conversions. Okay. So here are all your conversion actions. What we want to do is click on the purchase conversion action. The one that is tied to a value and a conversion amount. This is a retail use case, so it makes sense to use this one. So we see here at the bottom, Enhanced Conversions. Click on this rectangle to expand it. Then check this box to turn on Enhanced Conversions. Click on Google Tag or Google Tag Manager. Click on Next. Then type in the website. I'll type in this address. So I can show you what the scan looks like. Right? If you click on Check URL, it will try and tell you kind of, you know, whether you're using a Google Tag or a Google Tag Manager. I know with this one that the output will be Google Tag Manager because that's what the website is using. There we go. Because you use Google Tag Manager to set up website tags, you need to use it to set up enhanced conversions. So the instructions will be there, but uh, in this case, we will actually go to the tab that I already have open instead of clicking Open Google Tag Manager. Okay, so you can click on Save, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna actually just click Back. Okay, so we're in Google Tag Manager now, and you can see we have the Google Ads Conversion Tracking tag right here. So we can click into that, and we can see details about it. So we see the conversion ID. This ID pertains to the Google Ads account. This ID, the conversion label, sorry, uh, pertains to the action. So the purchase action inside Google Ads, the one that we looked at already. So this one here, just to recap. It's speaking directly to this one. Okay. You can see the label and the ID there. And I've hard-coded a value, 129. Here's what the site looks like. So this is the order confirmation page, 129. What's really important to note that uh, in Enhanced Conversions, there will be a step before this page where a customer will enter their data. Right? They'll enter information like first name, last name, phone number, email. And it's up to a developer, if you're using the data layer approach, to carry that data to the order confirmation page where your Google Ads conversion tracking tag will be firing. So if we look at the code, we can see what a data layer implementation of enhanced conversions would look like if you're relying on email and phone. Right here above the Google Tag Manager code snippet, you'll see a data layer push. So you'll see an event, order complete, for example, then you'll also see an email, and then a phone as a variable name, right? And then you've got values of the customer's email, and then values for the customer phone as well, right? There's only one phone number, one email. So this, as I said, would be carried over from the previous step. Perfect. So let's go to GTM. And what you need to do is once you're in your conversion tracking tag here, click into this large rectangle and click on provide new customer data. And we need to uh, confirm what the data source is in this case. So this will be data layer. 
and we will click on include user provided data from your website. And then we will actually create variables to grab that data layer code that was set up by a developer that I mentioned. Okay. So if we click this checkbox, include user provided data from your website, and then over here you'll click on new variable. You can even type in enhanced um, version data layer. We can just kind of manually configure this stuff. So under email, we don't actually have a way of bringing an email in yet from the from the data layer into GTM. So we need to create a new variable, and we can call it email data layer variable. And then click on this Lego block. Click on data layer variable. Right. And let's just see in the code one more time what the name was. I believe it was just email. So you can go back to the code, a few page source. Yep, it's just email. So let's actually copy that. Add it here. Perfect, so that's done. It will grab email and it will set the value of email in this user provided data for email. We can do the same for phone. New variable. Phone data layer variable. That's along the same lines of what I called the last one. And then uh, again, Lego block, data layer variable. And if I remember correctly, it's just phone. Yep. Okay, save, perfect. We don't have any of this data here, but with this implementation of enhanced conversions, we can see that there was just email and phone, and those two are perfectly fine to just submit. The more data, the better, but uh, all we need is just one, right? If only email is available, that's totally fine. But uh, in this case, email and the phone were available, so we submitted that to GTM. Save. All right. Now we hit save again. And we will submit. And then let's write what we did. Say the recap implemented enhanced conversions, added data, layer, variables for phone and email, added them to the Google Ads conversion tracking. Perfect. So from an implementation perspective, everything is set up correctly. We've enabled the checkbox in Google Ads and we added dynamic uh, customer data to your Google Ads conversion tracking tag. We created data layer variables as well to do that. and. Um, Pretty soon this will sort of come alive and fill in some of the cookie loss gaps in Google Ads. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.